Welcome to Space Traders. I am the rocket scientist. And here we give the value of a stock where other places just give you the price. Today, I want to talk to you guys about understanding when people buy and sell during the stock day. And I'm also including here pre-market and I'm also including aftermarket. In order to understand when you should sell your stocks and when you should buy your stocks, you need to understand that during the day, and especially in pre-market, uh, the, the amount of activity going on, the amount, the raw amount of shares that are bought in trade, it's actually distinctly different. Let me explain. In pre-market, for those people that are trading in pre-market, those are the people that usually have minimum $25,000 or more in their investment accounts. Uh, for some accounts, it can be as little as $10,000. What that enables people to do, investors to do, what I like to call the big cats, is they can purchase stocks before the market actually opens and they can also sell stocks before the market actually opens. The market itself opens up from 630 and goes all the way until one o'clock. But if you are a big player, if you are a big dog, woof, woof, you're actually in the market a couple hours early. And so for any of you who have probably watched this before, you're going to notice some trends. One of the things you're going to notice is that in pre-market, because the bigger dogs are dealing with larger amounts of money, the stock can fluctuate a lot more. It can go a lot higher and a lot lower. You know, take, for example, let's say you, you purchase a peanut butter and jelly time stock. It's not a stock. It, it should be, obviously, because who doesn't love PB&J? You purchase the stock. You purchase it during regular market hours. You notice the next day that it's, it's, it's a volatile stock. It's going up like, you know, 15, 16, maybe 20% in pre-market. That's the big dogs playing. Or maybe it's going down. 15, 20% in pre-market. What tends to happen in pre-market is, if you're looking at, for example, a volatile stock and you're seeing it shoot up in pre-market, the big dogs are gonna sell that stock off. A lot of them are gonna sell it off right before 6.30. And the reason why is, if that stock has been pumped up greater than let's say 10%, for example, the big dogs, they're selling it off before that growth is looked at by the little dogs because at 6.30, boom, now the little dogs get in and they see that this stock has been going up. And a lot of little dogs, they're gonna go ahead and sell their stock because they're gonna take that 10%, okay? The difference between the big dogs and the little dogs in the stock market is a matter of patience. Warren Buffett once said that stocks is merely the transfer of of goods, of stocks themselves from impatient people to patient people. And so the big dogs, they don't wanna deal with the impatient people. They don't wanna deal with their behavior patterns because they know if they get that stock up and they see that 15%, for example, and they've created that 15% and they're riding that 15%, they're gonna sell it off before 6.30 because they know the little dogs are gonna to start to kind of nibble away at that. They're gonna see that growth, they're gonna be impatient and they're going to etch it down, okay? So that's the first part of it. The second thing is, is that the best time you wanna buy and sell stocks, if you're looking for long-term, is that's gonna be about nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. That's when the market tends to even out a little bit. And from there, the last thing I would say on this is, at 12 o'clock to one o'clock, um, you're going to see another little fluctuation. That's where sellers, uh, small dogs, so to speak, and occasionally big dogs, but mostly small dogs, they're, they're selling off their gains, okay, the more short-term people. So a stock may tend to dip a little bit from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, or it may tend to go up a little bit from 12 o'clock to one o'clock. Again, if you are a regular little dog, when you see at 6.30, okay, you see the markets way up, way up, way up, way up. You can try to sell right there at 6.31, that's fine. But if you're not gonna sell at 6.31, you're gonna to wanna to wait about five or 10 minutes because what tends to happen is all the little dogs sell off their stock and it drops down. So maybe that 10% drops down to about 
I don't know, maybe three, four percent. Okay. I mean, I'm not Nostradamus, but I'm just telling you patterns and trends here. And then over the course of the day, it might go back up a little bit, but it's never going to return to what it was right before 630. And the reason why is because the big dogs have more buying power. Little dogs nibble, big dogs chomp. There's the rocket scientist. Thanks for your time.